Good evening, you're still watching The Big Story. I'm Robbie Alampay. A ceremonial lighting at the Cebu Cordova Link Expressway, or CCLX, is now underway as eight crosses will be illuminated to mark 500 years of Christianity in the Philippines. Dale De Vera gives us updates from Cebu. Robbie is going to have rain but this will stop the Filipino face. We are in the middle of our measurement state where the icons of Cebu Cordova and Link Expressway are said to be lighted in celebration of the 500 years of Christianity in the country. Eight crosses will serve as guides to motorist bikers once the 8.5 kilometer long Cebu Cordova Link Expressway is already open to the public. The bridge, dubbed as the Bridge of Tomorrow, will have a cross in every panel of its twin tower. Each cross measures 40 meters and is said to be CC Lexus iconic pictures. These were designed based on Magellan's cross, which will symbolize Cebu as a cradle of Christianity in the country. The lighting of the crosses coincides with the quintessential celebration of Christianity in the country, which was celebrated on Wednesday, April 14. Once the CC Lex is completed, it will surpass a 2.1 kilometer sunway bridge as the longest bridge in the country. Cebu is also celebrating the declaration of the Basilica Minora del Santo Niño de Cebu as a national cultural treasure by the National Museum. Because of this, the Basilica will be given the status as one of the most important structures the country will have to take care of. Reason why some of the devotees are excited and happy. So proud of us, nga as a Cebuana sa Bisaya. So yung mga nababtais na mga Spaniards na mga colonizers natin. So at least yun ang napamana yung Catholic faith po natin. Napakagandang ihimplo po, lalo na sa sitwasyon natin ngayon. Sana it will give more hope sa lahat ng mga Pilipino na may Diyos talaga. Robbie Cebu Archbishop Jose Palma has just finished blessing the Twin Towers where the process will be placed. The CCX is expected to be substantially uh, completed by the year 10 and is said to be moving to the public at the start of uh, 2020.